Okay, this is lesson 31. This one is really hard. Um, I recommend watching his video first because he goes a little slower. Um, in my video, I'm not going to go super slow because it takes a lot of time to explain all of these different ones. And if I explain them, they'll be like an hour long. So I'll do my best to try to explain it while I'm doing it. So I'm going to start by drawing my six carbons like he does in his video. And then on mine, whenever I see broad S, I like to add the oxygen to the canvas to know that I'm going to have an OH group. I'm going to switch to hydrogen. And I'm going to add my six hydrogens to two carbons. So three hydrogens, three hydrogens. And then they're attached to a triple molecule. So I've got three molecules there. Attach it. So a triple is also just a carbon with two hydrogens. So just instead of like, if you think triple, three hydrogens, just think of three molecules. Like our carbon with two hydrogens. So now I'm going to skip up to the front. Back to the last one and the first one. I have two hydrogens attached to a double, which means it's going to be a carbon with only one hydrogen or just two molecules, which means that now I need to attach things to this to keep it as only one hydrogen. So I'll add these two over here and I'll add my oxygen to that carbon to complete its octet. Lastly, you want to make sure to press H and electrons. If you don't, the oxygen won't get it, the electrons it needs and it'll be wrong. Also, I've, I've done these a lot, so um, I don't really count anymore because I've just done, I'm so used to them, but um, you want to make sure to count and make sure you have the right amount of carbons and the right amount of hydrogens. The hydrogens are the trickiest parts. So I'll, I see broad S, so I added my oxygen to the canvas. I'm going to switch to hydrogen and add my six hydrogens total to two of the carbons. And then it's connected to a double, which means it's going to be a carbon with one single bond. Whenever it's a single, um, it only has one hydrogen, I connect both of the carbons to that because I want to keep it as only having one hydrogen. And the more bonds it has, the easier it is to keep it like that. I'm going to jump up to the front. Two hydrogens connected to a triple molecule. So I've got three atoms right here connected to that. And then more than likely, one is going to be connected to the OH group. And then we have 5H in the middle. One, two, three. This carbon is going to have two hydrogens. So I can go ahead and connect all of them to have a total of one, two, three, four, five hydrogens in the middle of the molecule. Lastly, add my hydrogens and electrons. Hit arrange. And this is our ending molecule. And again, I'm just going fast because these do take a lot of time. Um, but his video, he does explain them pretty slowly. I think he takes 36 minutes to explain three of them. So it helped me a lot. So this one, I don't see a broad S. So I'm going to leave the oxygen out there, out of here. Um, because I want to attach, I want to make sure that I'm attaching it to two carbons and I don't want to mix it up with the OH group. So I'm going to add my six hydrogens over here, six total, and they're connected to triple molecules. So I've got three atoms there, three atoms here. I'll go ahead and connect that. I don't ever connect um, these molecules to the triple the triplet ones, just because in this lesson we only need to, whenever these two are connected to one molecule, it's usually the single, 
the carbon with only a hydrogen or the carbon with no hydrogens. I'm going to skip up front and do the four hydrogens to the triple. Oh, actually, this is the one where, let's see. So I have three, I'm going to put one here. And then I'm going to connect this. All these different ways. And I'm actually going to take Sorry, I confused it with another one. <laughs> one, two. I'm going to delete this one. And I'm going to add oxygen right there and connect these. So we have four total hydrogens here connected to a triple. See, so three, three atoms. Three atoms for a triple. Our triplet. Add my hydrogens, lastly. And this will be our end product. Let's see if that's right. So I've done this a lot of times, so sometimes when I just see the numbers, I just start doing it a way that like a lot of them have repeat numbers, but they're different. Okay, I'm not going to add the oxygen to the canvas just yet because it's going to be attached to two, two carbons. So I see 12 hydrogens, and this is the easiest way to do this one. So I'll put six on one side and six on the other side. So they're mirrored and they kind of count as one unit altogether. They're both attached to a double. So I'm going to add the carbons to, or the hydrogens to the carbons to make it two molecules for that double. And then I'm going to attach two of them to one and then two of them to one. Lastly, um, we can also see two H, so we have two hydrogens here connected to SEP, which is which stands for seven, but we actually mean six because we're always minusing one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Each side has six, and that's how we know it's right. And then lastly, my oxygen. Add my electrons to that oxygen. And this is our end product. Okay, this one I hate with everything I have in me. Um, this one was really hard for me to do. I don't know why, but it was. Uh, we see broad S, so I'm going to add my oxygen to the canvas. I'm going to start with my hydrogens. One, two, three. And I'm actually going to start with this molecule. So we have six hydrogens connected to a single. So just one molecule altogether. I have my six. So for some of these, um, this one I kept working outside, but is it was easier for me to start working from the inside. Okay, so I have that. And then I'll jump up to the front. Two hydrogens connected to a triple. And then let's see. One, two, three. And then I'm going to connect, let's see, 2H6, which means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is what I got right here. So I've got my 2H and then my 5 down here. So I'll go ahead and connect that. And then the last step is just to complete this one. This is a single one, so it doesn't need any hydrogens. 
So I'm going to use whatever bonds I have left to complete that. Add my hydrogens, hit arrange and fit. And this is our end product. Sorry, I went a little slow. This one always kind of gets me and I don't like it at all. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna add my oxygen to the canvas to indicate I have an OH group. Switch to hydrogen and we have three H connected to a triple, so three atoms total. Two hydrogens, one carbon to equal three. Jump up to the front. Two hydrogens connected to a triple. One, two. One, two. Okay. And then in the middle we have 8H. So the ones with the M are pretty easy. This is all going to equal up to 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now all it's left to do is connect them. And then I see this is the only carbon that's missing a bond. So I'll bond that to the OH group. Add my hydrogens, hit arrange. And this is the end product. So for most, most of them, it's gonna be easier to start from the back and then jump to the front and then see what's in the middle. Some of them, like the one I did previously, it's easier to just see which components you have and make those. I think this is also one where I can start here. So I'm gonna have three carbons. I'll make all of them there. I'm not gonna add my O to the tape to the canvas. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, for a total of nine attached to a single molecule. So I'm going to move this here and I'm going to attach to that one. It's not going to have any hydrogen, so I know it's going to bond to either an oxygen or a carbon. I'm going to start now with three hydrogens. Three hydrogens connected to a triplet, three atoms total, carbon and two hydrogens. And then let's see, two hydrogens connected to a quartet, which means it's four atoms total. And that's actually this all right, right here. So it kind of repeats itself. And lastly, I can add my oxygen, add my hydrogens or electrons in this case. Okay, uh, let me check my notes just to make sure. Yep, looks about right. Some of these will repeat themselves. Um, that's where it can kind of get confusing six carbons. I see one broad S, so I'm going to add my oxygen, have my hydrogens again, and we see that 9HS again, so I'll do my three on three carbons, attach it to a carbon that's not going to have any hydrogens attached. I'm going to jump up to the front, one hydrogen connected to a quartet, so it's going to be three, and then that's going to have one hydrogen. Um, lastly, this is going to be connected to something with just one carbon because it's an alcohol. So I'm going to go over here and look at the three hydrogen connected to a double, which means it's connected to a single. So I have that. This is actually what this is. So it's kind of like a duplicate of this up here. So 
I'm going to attach it as so. Add my hydrogens. And this is the only one that has a confirmation. So I'm going to check on that. I have my hydrogen in the back. This is my chiral center because it's got three different molecules attached. Well, four different, sorry. I have my oxygen highest priority on the top, my second on the left, and then my third on the right. It's going counterclockwise, so it's S. So all I got to do is go up here and press mirror. I've got my highest up here, my second to highest on the right, and then my last one on the left. It's going right there to the right, so it's R confirmation, and we're good to go. One, two, three, four, five, six. I see broad S, so I'm going to add my oxygen to the canvas. Switch to hydrogen. Add my six hydrogens to two carbons. They're both connected to a triple, so three atoms, three atoms. And then I'm going to jump up here. I have four hydrogens connected to a quartet, and that is actually this right here. So these two hydrogens on each molecule make up four, a total of four. And then they're connected to a quartet, four atoms, or a carbon with three hydrogens each. So these two are duplicates, and I can move on to the 3HS. So I'm going to add three hydrogens to one of these carbons. This carbon down here isn't going to have anything because it's just a single atom, um, specified by that S for single. I'm going to then attach it to that, and then lastly attach it to the oxygen, so it remains lonely and single. Alright, this is our end product. The last one, always the best one. Six. I'm going to add my oxygen to the canvas. Switch to hydrogen. Now I'm going to add my six hydrogens. I'm going to use a total of two carbons. I have six, and it's connected to a double, which means it's a carbon with one hydrogen. Double two atoms. So I'm going to connect both of them to that one carbon, so I can keep it as only having one hydrogen. If I was to connect this one over here, then there's a possibility that this could end up with two hydrogens, both of them, so I'm going to leave it like this. I'm going to jump up to the front. I see 1H SEP. I don't really want to... Okay, I have to deal with this. Oh no, I don't. I don't want to deal with this, so I'm going to go over here. Six hydrogens to a single carbon. One, two, three, four, five, six. There is a single carbon over here. So I'm going to attach that. And then I'm going to use that to attach to this carbon. And then I'm going to attach to this OH group. Add my hydrogens. Hit arrange. And lastly, I'm going to check my notes really quick because I don't remember getting this one. And I kind of want to see if it's right or wrong before I submit. Okay, yeah, it looks about right. I hope it is. And we'll see you together. Alright, good luck on this one, guys. Um, I'm sorry I couldn't explain it better. I just... I didn't want this to be a 20 minute video, but it is, but good luck and you guys got this.